Hello YouTube, this is DBest18 and today I have an unboxing of a 1x1 one 24 watt uh, foldable solar charger. So I got an email from the 1x1 one one company and they asked me if I wanted to try out any of their products. They said to have a look on their site or on Amazon and see if there was anything on their site that I might be interested in. So I uh, took a look on their site and I saw this solar charger. And as you guys know, I probably I've I've already did a few uh, videos on some solar battery chargers that I've I've tried out in the past, I purchased in the past, and I really liked. So I told them, hey, how about I try this one out? So he said, sure, sure. And they sent it over to me, and it's this. It's a a one by one. Let me turn it around the right way so you can see. One by one, 24 watt solar charger, and probably as you can see. I actually have some, I actually have sunlight. I actually have some sunlight today. So I had to wait a little bit because we haven't been getting much sun in our area. So this is a foldable panel and it comes with a little storage area over here where you can actually put your phone in there. And the USB slots are also over here on this side. But let's open it up. didn't bring my knife otherwise I would have used that to cut this thing okay so here we are as you open it up, you can see uh, the packaging, you see what actually is inside. And as you can tell, this was the first time that I'm opening this and I haven't, <laughs> as you can see, I haven't opened this before. So the first thing that they give you is this little, you get a USB cord and this is for a micro USB. So if you have an iPhone, you're going to want to use, get your iPhone cord or bring your iPhone cord with you. Um, silica gel packets now we have the instruction manual which I haven't looked through as yet because this is the first time opening it which is why it's an actual unboxing and me basically showing it to you all so I'll just look through the manual it tells you here definitely needs the sunlight these are the solar panels and as I said before your connections are here okay and this is all stuff that you can definitely look through. It says uh, for specifications, it gives you solar cell efficiency, 22 to 23.5%. Solar panel, each solar panel is 5.5 volts uh, slash 24 watts. Solar panel quantity, you get four solar panels, it's four pieces. USB max current output, 3.3 amps in total. 2.4 amps at a single port. Unfold, unfolded size is 800 millimeters by 260 millimeters, which I'm gonna unfold that for you here. And net weight is 570 grams. So those are the specs for it. Okay, and once you, if you decide to get one, you can always look look into this a little more. And once we take it out, we can put the box aside. So today I actually have a little bit of sunlight, so I can actually uh, I can actually do a decent unboxing. I can actually plug it in and see if it works. So here's the first thing that you notice: you have some Velcro here, and you also have this. See, you have a little strap here, which I'm obviously gonna assume this is for connecting it to your to your uh, to your book bag or such or anything like that that you may want to. So just. Open her up. Okay. Gonna open the panels up. And immediately you see your panels. Alright. Immediately we see our panels here. We have these little pieces of foam, which we're not gonna lose. We're just gonna hold on to these. We're gonna put them in the box here for our video purposes. And as I stretch it out, this is pretty much the length of it here that you can see. Okay. And 
so you have your four panels. So man, these are some decently sized panels. You can you can definitely collect some sun with this. So you have little hooks here. So you can strap this, see if you're, you're going hiking or you want to put this on your bag. You can strap this onto your book bag either, whether it be from here or here and here. Uh, most people probably are just gonna hook it up here and put it on the put it on the back of their bag or or strap it on your tent and then it'll take off like that. Now in here, let's see what we have here. It says the weather conditions will affect the charging strength. So as we see here it says you need full sunlight. Cloudy day is eh, and a rainy day is not gonna charge. So it says adjust the angle to face the sunlight directly, which is for us, my sun is directly that way. So I would have to basically face it, face it that way. Then it says connect your devices to the USB port. Okay. Now, once we open this, you can probably see you have the USB ports inside. As you can see there, I'm just facing it into the sunlight, looking into my phone so that I can make sure that you can see. And you have your USB ports inside there. Okay, so let's try, I read some reviews and they were saying that they noticed that this didn't work with an iPad. So let's just face this a bit to the sun, put this box here underneath. And I'm gonna plug my iPad in here. Oh, and you can see that light is on now. You see that? That light turned on. I just faced it to the sun, right? And look, that light is powered up. All right. So I plug, plugged in my iPad wire. And I am going to turn on my iPad. And plug my iPad in and let's see if it works. And it's charging. As maybe you can, I don't know if you can see that. I, I, I don't know, I have, it's hard for me to tell. But it's charging. It's probably easier to see that way. The little charge symbol right there. It shows that it's it is working and it is charging. So, okay, well, well that was good to know. Now, I'll try my Android device. See how that works. Just plug the wire in here. This is actually what I use to control my DSLR. And, and there you go. And that's charging also. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm actually, my phone right now is at 63%. So I'm gonna leave this to charge for a little while. And I'll come back and see exactly like what percentage I end up getting on this. So, Here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to, I need to start my timer. I'll start my timer. 30 minute timer, right? We're at 63% and you gotta let it charge for 30 minutes. All right, I'm gonna unplug the iPad. iPads unplugged and I'm gonna stop recording and I'll be back in 30 minutes and see what we get. Well, right now we're at 63%. I'm gonna leave my phone out here and it's cold. Be back. All right, so we are back. Now let's see. Ah, 
I'm gonna get the sun went away. All right. Yeah. Not much difference. Got about 64% after 30 minutes. Looks like uh, not getting too much sun. I got some cloud cover on the sun also. So that kind of is not helping, but it's still charging, it's still going. All right, well, I guess you just have to, you just gotta make sure you have a decently brightly sunny day. Right now I got a little cloud cover, a little cloud moved in and covered up the sun, so. Not getting, not getting too much sun right now. All right, YouTube, well, the sun is not cooperating with me today. And uh, I'm trying to, I mean, it's, is it still? It's probably barely getting, I'm just gonna unplug it. But right now, I'm getting like, I'm getting like no, no sun out here. I'm trying to, the clouds is just totally covered up the sun and I'm not, I'm just not getting anything, so. I'll just have to, I'll just update in the comments uh, how it's been working out. So, I mean, this is pretty much it. It's really not much to it. Your phone, oh, I just messed up my whole sheet and everything here. Um, so this is pretty much it. Your phone can basically go in here. Let's move this down some so you can see. So basically your phone can, can go in here, right? While you're charging, you can pretty much just keep it in there. And I, I have a, a Galaxy Note 4, so it's a little bit of a bigger phone, but you can put it in there, you can wrap the cord up in there. And then this, this uh, Velcro, there's a little piece of Velcro strap right in here that keeps that down. So you just put that on, put, just connect that as best as you can. I mean, if you have a phone like an iPhone 6 Plus, which is a little bigger than this, you know, this Velcro is not gonna be able to close. So with these big phones that they have, you're just gonna end up having to have to leave this open. Or if you have a longer wire, right, you can just connect the plug to it, run, put the phone in your bag and run the wire right into your bag and that's that. So that's pretty much, how you would store the phone, and then you could use this and maybe a, a hook or something. With this here, you could use like one of those little metal hooks and you could strap it to your, maybe your book bag, the little latches, on, little strap that's on your book bag, and just hang it off the back or on your tent or whatever the case may be. And as I've said before or earlier, you're gonna get four panels and uh, you just need a sunny day. You, you, you have to have a sunny day. If it's a mediocre, cloudy day like today, you're gonna, you might get a little bit of power, but it's, it's not gonna be much. You're gonna, if you turn your phone off, it'll actually, you, you, you'll charge a little better. You get a little bit more power if you turn your phone off on a day like today, but you gotta have some sun. As you saw maybe in some parts of the video, you could tell when the sun was shining in because it affects my camera's exposure. Um, which is why I try to wait for a sunny day. I've been waiting for almost probably like a week and a half just to do this unboxing. And I saw today that the sun was kind of out and then when I come out to do it, now you can just fold it up like this, fold it up like that, put the strap in here. And like I ride motorcycles and a lot of my viewers ride motorcycles. And I figure, I figure that a lot of us, we could just throw this in our saddlebag because you can see how thin it is and you can see how wide. All right, look, here's my iPad. I have an iPad mini, right? And I'll just, just put the iPad mini next to it. And you can see it's a little longer than an iPad mini. Width wise, it's, it's a little bit, it's a little bit wider than my iPad mini. And I put my fingers here and here. It's a, it's a little bit, wider than iPad mini. But you can fit this in a book bag. You can fit this in a motorcycle saddle bag. You can fit this in um, maybe a tank bag. I know my iPad mini could fit in a tank bag, but maybe you could fit this in a motorcycle tank bag. Or even if you have a smaller, um, a smaller little 
carry bag like I have on my Buell, on the back of my Buell, you could slide this in. I know for sure this would fit inside of my Buell easily. Um, and that's about it, guys. I'm going to give this a little further testing. Uh, it's January now, so uh, we don't have a lot of, we don't get a lot of sunny days here in upstate New York. Not until we get into like February or March, probably not even February, maybe around in the March time. When it starts to warm up a little bit and then you start to get a few warmer days. So, but anyhow, I just wanted to show you this. Uh, one by one is really nice enough to send this to me so that I could I could do a video unboxing of it and an overview of it. And I think that this is something that would really be useful. I think we, as motorcycle riders that we take trips and we tend to be out and out and about for God knows, for God knows how many, how many, uh, how many days. Uh, something like this is great, especially if we do camping. You know, a lot of us we like to camp, and we may not have a power source. And if you can just hang this up, you know, if you can hang this up on your on on, on your tent or on the side of your motorcycle, and and if you have a, a, a power pack, you know, one of those little little power packs or small power packs or even like the 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 one of those battery pack jumpers that also doubles as a USB charger you can just plug that in leave this out there and just let it trickle charge it to full for however many of them you may have and once that one's full you throw another one on there and you just harness the power you harness as much power as you can during the day so that in the evening if your battery is low you can just charge it charge up your batteries back up or charge your gopros back up or charge whatever cameras you may have your sony whatever it may be that you need to charge up you can charge them up without an issue so yeah um i like to thank one by one for uh taking the time to send this to me and letting me review it and i actually like it i really like it and if you are interested in purchasing one there's a link in the description that you can you can see it. You can see that link in the description. Just click that link and you can go to the website, wherever the website may be, because I don't know at this point in time, I'll email them and find out. But you can go to the website and you can purchase one. And at least that way, hey, you, you go camping, you go on that motorcycle trip, which you know a lot of us do. Or if you go camping in general, you have a way to power your devices because we all know this is a day and age where we love our devices we go nowhere without these things so that's something to look into guys and uh, I thank you guys for watching I thank you guys for taking the time to, 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 to view this with me it's like must be like about 40 or 50 degrees today so <laughs> and I'm outside doing this well I enjoy it all right guys thank you for watching take it easy and uh, yeah go online and check this out on Amazon they have some really good reviews on it I was actually surprised because you know there's always some people that have their issues with it but a lot of people were um, they had a lot of good things to say about this and I think you should take the time and get and take a look at it all right YouTube and take it easy see you later thanks bye